Marlo Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below. So what do I have going on for you for today? Oh my word. Today I am bringing to you two stinking cute DIYs using some of the Easter decor that the Dollar Tree is carrying right now. You all know that over the last few holidays, I am loving DIYing these wood plaques that Dollar Tree has been carrying. These are by Crafter Square. But what I've been hearing a lot of when I do these DIYs is that not everybody is getting these wood plaques in stock at their Dollar Tree and there is some frustration, rightly so, about it. I mean, these are a dollar and when you DIY them, it's such a budget-friendly decor piece that you're making. I can see why there is frustration. I mean, I really just don't understand why Dollar Tree doesn't have Crafter Square at every store because it would sell out. So Dollar Tree, if you're listening to this, get with the program and stop Crafter Square at every Dollar Tree because it's gonna sell, people want it, and it's great stuff. Okay, that is my plea to the Dollar Tree. So because it's Easter and they've got this adorable bunny plaque out, I am gonna show you an adorable DIY using these. I picked up, I wanna say, four of them that I will be using in today's DIY. But for those of you who don't get the wood plaques in, you'll wanna stay tuned because I will also be bringing to you a very similar DIY using the felt bunny garland that Dollar Tree has. Now, this is a pretty universal product, I would think, and so I would guess that most Dollar Trees are gonna have this bunny garland in. And honestly, I love the outcome of both. They both turned out amazing, and they are both two pieces that I will be keeping, that I will be using year after year. So let's not waste any more time. Let's jump into it, and let me show you what I have in mind for today's DIY with these wood plaques and this bunny garland. This is such a farmhouse DIY, I can't stand it. Actually, I wanna say it's more shabby chic. Anyway, let's get to it. Alrighty, getting started with this DIY. Like I said, I picked up four of these wood bunny plaques. You can use more, you can use less. It really is up to you. I'll also be using this Spring Easter Fat Quarter Bundle by Emma and Myla. I am loving their Fat Quarter Bundles. Amazing. This Spring and Easter one is so farmhouse chic. I am loving the browns, the whites, the pinks. Picked this up for $5. And I gotta tell you, with this back quarter bundle, I did three total DIYs using it, so it was worth the $5. This here is what I have left after the first DIY. After this DIY, I will be using it for the second half of this video as well. So a total of three DIYs for the bargain price of $5 for this bundle. I'm excited. And you guessed it, I don't wanna seem repetitive, but yes, I am covering these wood plaques with the fabric, starting off with a good layer of Mod Podge on them. Once I've got that Mod Podge on, I'm gonna go ahead and lay down the fabric and then cover it with a second coat. The thing that I love so much about using fabric is that you can really do it to suit any decor style. You just go, you pick out a fabric that catches your eye and you go with it, and this, Myla and Emma Fat Quarter Stack is amazing. It is an Easter and spring theme. They seem to come out with a lot of really neat themed bundles and for the bargain price of $5 at Walmart, you can't beat it. Once I've got all four of my bunnies covered in fabric and I am gonna do each bunny in a different fabric. Now don't throw away your scraps because you're gonna need them for the second DIY in this video. I'm gonna pop my plaques in the oven at 135 degrees to speed up the drying process. If you're not comfortable with doing this, by all means, let it air dry. I've never had anything bad happen, and so it's something that I don't mind doing. Once they're good and dry, I'm gonna take an X-Acto knife and using the plaque itself as a guide, I'm gonna cut off the excess fabric. Oh my word, seriously, I am obsessed with this fabric. I am loving the color variation it is just amazing. It screams all of the colors that I love. 
Once everything is good and dry, taking this acid-free brown ink pad and a makeup sponge, Usually I would just go in with the ink pad itself to outline the outside of the plaque because it makes it a lot easier, it's faster. But with this plaque, there's so many small areas that's gonna make it hard to use the ink pad itself. It's just a lot easier to use something like the makeup sponge. Now, if you don't wanna outline your plaque, you don't have to. If you wanna outline it in orange or pink or blue and be vibrant, I say go for it. It's your DIY, get creative. But because I like to do these DIYs to suit my decor so I can use them in my house, really I'm just giving you an idea and you take what you like, you leave what you don't, and you make it your own. So since I'm going with the farmhouse chic feel for this DIY, again, I'm going to outline all four of my plaques with the ink pad. There are so many different ways to outline something like this. If you don't have an ink pad, but you have some of Waverly's wax paint, you can do that as well. I just love the look of it because it adds depth. I have this pack of pom-poms that I picked up from Michaels. It says $1.99. I did not pay $1.99 because who pays full price for anything at Michaels? You're gonna use your coupon. You're gonna pay a little bit over a dollar. I'm gonna use these for the tail of the bunny. Then using some of Dollar Tree's twine, I'm gonna make a bow, and this bow is going to be four strands thick because I don't want it too thick, but I don't want it too thin, and so I feel like four strands is a good amount to give this bow that's gonna go right here on the bunny's ear. How easy was that? And look at how farmhouse chic this looks. I am loving all four of these fabrics. I'm sorry, for some reason, the saturation on my camera went to blue and I didn't notice it, but I'm gonna fix it. Yikes, this is really blue. I'm not sure what's going on. Still learning how to use this camera. Ugh. Okay, so I'm gonna use some of Dollar Tree's burlap ribbon. This is a nine foot roll. I'm gonna hot glue the bunnies at the top of the ears to the ribbon. And I'm gonna separate each of the bunnies about four inches. Now, when gluing these, you wanna make sure that you leave about a foot of ribbon on each end of your bunny. So when you start it, you wanna have about a foot because I'm gonna use this area here to add more twine. I took some twine and I made kind of a hoop out of it. You can do whatever size you want. I'm gonna fold it into the burlap just like so. I'm gonna flip it over and just hot glue the burlap closed and cut off any of that excess burlap. And I'm doing this so I have something to actually hang it from so I don't have to put a nail through the burlap. Here on the end, I did another, I guess, twine bow. I added some brown and white baker's twine and one of my wood buttons. And I wanted to make this bow a bit thicker and so I think I went with about 12 strands of twine. I think that this is the perfect thickness to add to each end of this garland. I also did some of my twine flowers. If you have not seen that video, I will link it in the description box below. These are so quick and easy to do, budget friendly. I did them the same way as I did the bow. I wanted to add just a little bit of color to it, so I used some of the baker's twine as well. These wood buttons you can find at Michael's. I bought a pretty big bag for just a couple of dollars and what I love about them is that you don't have to paint them or you can paint them. You don't have to buy a bunch of buttons to suit your needs. You can just make these to suit your needs. Now I'm at the other end of this garland and I'm gonna do the same thing with the twine, kind of adding this hoop so I can hang it from each end. And that really is all there is to it. Now just finish this end off with another twine bow and we are done. And would you look there, this was such a budget friendly DIY using these amazing wood plaques that the Dollar Tree is carrying, the burlap ribbon and this adorable fat quarter stack by Emma and Myla that you can get at Walmart. I love the outcome of this. I feel like this is such a farmhouse chic piece and it doesn't scream spring and Easter in the traditional sense. Now, for those of you who can't get your hands on these wood plaques, you're gonna pick up one of these felt bunny garlands. And so what's great about this set is that you're getting eight bunnies for the price of one. You've got these pom-poms that you don't have to go out and buy. So you're getting all of this for $1. 
We're gonna disassemble this garland and I'm gonna cut off these pom-poms and put them to the side because we're gonna need them later. Don't worry too much about the little pom-pom stump that's left behind. It's not gonna show, we're just gonna go right over it. For this bunny DIY, we will be using those scrap fabric pieces left over from the beginning of this video that you did not throw away. And because these bunnies are bright and vibrant, we're gonna put just a coat of white acrylic paint on top of this felt. What's great about painting felt is that once you paint this felt, it's gonna make it very hard and stiff. And these bunnies are gonna be just as stiff as those wood plaques. And so I am loving it. I am loving the size of these bunnies. And what I really love the most is that we got eight bunnies for the price of one. And these are gonna be just as great as the first one. So on the front, if a bit of the color comes through just a bit, don't worry about it too much. You can still slightly see the color, but on the back side, I just really wanted that finished look. So I finished it off with the cashew. I also decided to add the black gingham fabric that I had left over from Christmas time. I did a lot of Christmas DIYs using this and I thought it would go perfectly with this fabric as well. I'm gonna cover them the same way as I did the wood plaques. Once they're completely covered, you're gonna cut off the excess fabric. For this garland, I'm switching up the way I'm outlining the bunnies to distress them because my brown ink pad is fresh out of ink and I don't feel like running out to get some. And since I've got plenty of the Waverly Antique Wax, I'm going to use that and apply it using this sponge dapper. And I'm going to do that to all eight of the bunnies. You can see just by looking at this how sturdy these felt bunnies became just by painting them and applying the fabric to them. So there really is no difference between these smaller bunnies and the wood plaque bunnies, only you're getting more bang for your buck. I'm gonna go ahead and replace the pom-pom back to this bunny's bum. And like I said in the beginning, if there was a stump of cotton left on the felt bunny before you put the fabric, no need to worry, because when you hot glue this pom-pom back on, it's not gonna show. Like the first DIY, I'm gonna give this bunny a cute little twine bow that is two strands thick. Then again, going with the wired burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree, I'm gonna use all nine feet and I'm gonna evenly space out each of the bunnies, leaving a space in between them that's gonna be big enough for a flower. When covering these eight bunnies, I decided to do four of them with the black gingham fabric because I had so much of this fabric left over from Christmas and I really did buy it with the intent of kind of incorporating it into each of the holidays through the new decor that I make through my videos and so I thought that this was the perfect piece to incorporate this into and so I did every other bunny with the black gingham and every other bunny with the adorable spring fabric bundle, the Emma and Myla. And I had the perfect amount of fabric left over to do this. And like I said, I did a total of three DIYs using that $5 bundle. You will have to stay tuned for the next DIY that I do because it is amazing what I did with this fabric bundle. So you'll wanna stay tuned for that. That video will be coming up here in the next week or so. For this garland, I wanted to show you an alternative to the twine flowers using these flowers that came in the gift wrapping section of Dollar Tree. Of all places, you could get four of these in a pack for a dollar. I'm not a glam girl, so the center of these, this rhinestone, I'm gonna remove it and I'm gonna replace it with a wood button. Again, these are the wood buttons I was talking about that you can get from Michaels. But before we do that, this flower is just a stark white and I don't want it to stand out. I want it to blend in. I don't want the focus of this garland to be these stark white flowers. So using my antique wax by Waverly, I'm gonna go ahead and distress the edges of this, kind of dirty up this flower, give it a little age, and that way it just kind of blends in and it really is a great alternative to the twine flowers. I mean, you're getting four for a dollar and this is gonna look just as cute. I'm gonna add one of my handy little wood buttons and I'm gonna go with the bigger wood button for this. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit that with a little bit of the Waverly Wax Antique just to darken it up and I am loving the look of these flowers. 
I think for this I needed a total of six flowers and I'm gonna hot glue these in between each of the bunnies. And again, on the ends of this garland, I'm gonna finish it off the same way with the twine that I'm gonna fold into the burlap ribbon just like so, hot glue it closed and just cut off the excess ribbon there. And I did do two of the thicker bows to add to the end of this garland as well. I just didn't add the baker's twine because I just wasn't feeling it with the fabric flowers that I was using. I thought that it was just gonna be a bit too busy with color. And would you look at how stinking cute this garland turned out. I love that you can take a felt garland from the Dollar Tree and you can turn it into something so farmhouse chic with just a little DIY. You could turn this into something glam. You could turn this into something cute for a baby's room. Endless possibilities and it is such a budget friendly way to transform these felt bunnies from the Dollar Tree. Oh my word, how stinking cute is this? I love this garland. It is just so, I'm gonna say it's farmhouse chic. It's one of those pieces that if I'm being completely honest, you're gonna be seeing in the background for a while because I just love it so much and it really goes good with the decor of my home. And these bunny bums, I just, I love them. And the felt one turned out just as amazing. What a great alternative to these wood plaques. Really, that bunny one was even less expensive to make than this one because we only had to buy one package of bunnies and we got eight of them. Love, love, love this. I hope you all enjoyed this farmhouse chic Easter DIY using these Dollar Tree buddies. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to, you guessed it, 5,000 likes. Because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. And bye for now, everybody. Thank you.